good evening, all my little cubs, babies, and dinos. Baby Bob here with you tonight again. And, well, we're going to talk about a game. Uh, this is one that uh, I got. I think I actually got it new, uh, but really cheap uh, when I was pretty young. Well, younger. Uh, young in my Nintendo 64 days, anyway. It is Quest 64. Okay, so I was uh, either still the end of my college years or just after I uh, when I picked this one up. And, uh, well, to me it was a newish idea. Um, and I was, I was happy with it. Uh, I, I liked the interesting way the combat worked because I'd been used to, say, Final Fantasy where um, you just... Uh, the bad guys were just poof, you're in a bad guy screen now. This, it felt more like the bad guys were in the environment. And actually running away from them physically was how you ran away. Um, I like the evolution of your magic spells and your attack abilities as you got better. Uh, I, uh, I definitely like the environments. I know it was early uh, polygon full environment action, so I'm not expecting, you know, infamous second son here. And I, I wasn't disappointed from the era it was in and from what I actually got. Uh, the bad guys were plain boring enough. And they seemed to have just the same kind of attacks you did. So there wasn't any kind of special bad guy attacks or special good guy attacks. It was just, what attacks have you made so that you can make? Um, and as you got better with any particular magic type, you got better spells. And you could then cast cooler effects. Um, Now, the game was pretty okay as far as most things go. Um, I can't say it's the game you'll want to write home about. It's a game. It's an adventure. It's magic -y stuff. It's pretty okay. <laughs> That's about the best way to put it. It is a world of okay in both RPG and graphics and everything about it. Um, I had fun with it, but I know a lot of people have complained about it over the years. But looking back at the time, there wasn't a lot of other things that you could really directly compare it to. I mean, yes, uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 had already come out on the PlayStation. And to be fair, they still had the Final Fantasy battle interaction. As soon as a bad guy came up, you were flashed into bad guy zone, not in just there in the world. Whereas this game, bad guys were basically on the ground that you were also walking on. So it gave you a little bit more sense of scale as opposed to, so all of a sudden there's this big area where there's a combat going on, even though you were walking on this little tiny corridor. Uh, it's fun enough. I don't think I ever actually finished it. Well, if you spawn on the cheap, I definitely say it's worth it. Um, the character is forgettable. The game is effectively forgettable. But it's not the worst thing out there. So, I could say it's a B of an RPG. Not an F by any stretch of the minds, and uh, definitely not an A. Um, yeah. I'd say it's playable. Playable! That's about all I can vote for. It. <laughs> so, if, uh, if you're up for it, give it a whizzle. Um, at this point, you can probably find about a billion copies of it used because it was very heavily produced. And people have given it up. <laughs> so, check your retro gaming stores. You can probably grab one pretty cheap and ta-da, it's all you. 
Uh, I believe it was only one player, so don't invite all your friends over to play with you because they'll be bored. <laughs> they'll be staring at those other three ports for controllers on the front of the N64 going, you want to put in Smash Brothers or, or Mario Party or GoldenEye or something else we can play with you? No. It's Quest 64 time. And I'm going to cast a little fireball at that bunny monster over and over again. Because I have to grind to level up. <laughs> uh, the grind was uh, grinding. Definitely had a lot of grinding from when I was playing it. So that you could be able to kill like bosses or get to the next area and not die. Uh... But, yeah, fun enough. You can get it pretty cheap. Give it a shot. You might have a little fun. Don't believe all the hype about how bad it was just because everyone else likes hating on a game. It doesn't make it not good. Uh, anywho, definitely want to thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you're having a lovely day. I know I'm being silly and wearing this costume again because, well, it's fun. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, if you could, give this video a, a like, don't forget to subscribe, the little dingly bell down there to, uh, let you be informed about new videos when they come up, and if you could, leave a comment, uh, especially if you've played the game before, if you still have your copy, if you hate it or didn't hate it yourself, I'd like to know what your actual opinion on the game was, not just what everyone else had to say. Let me know. I'd love to know. Yeah. All right. And uh, I didn't already mention the Patreon link in the description below. Every penny I get gets uh, spent on fun stuff to make the channel better or worse, depending on your opinion. <laughs> Probably mostly better, though. All right, my little cubs and kids. Uh, definitely thank you for watching, Mwah. and I hope to see you all again really, really soon. Yay!